your girl T here back with another inspired video. I know you guys are having a beautiful blessed day because you are tea timers. It's what we do. I am freezing my butt off here in British Columbia, Canada. It is minus six and I know to some of you that's laughable and to some of you you hear me but it is cold. Our affirmation of the day is circumstances don't matter. Circumstances don't matter. I wanted to tie this into an example from my personal life that happened a couple days ago and show you how circumstances do not matter. So my I'm renting a suite and my landlord just informed me that he'll be needing the suite in March because his parents are moving into the suite. They're retired, they sold their house, they're gonna be moving in. Now, at first when he told me this, I started panicking and doing the usual reaction to the 3D that I tell you guys not to do, but we're humans, we have to let ourselves react sometimes. And honestly, I did it for about two minutes and then I, I relaxed myself and I realized that A, I have an option where I can manifest the suite back or B, I chose to look at it in a different way. My son is four years old. He's starting to get bigger. I'm in a two bedroom right now. He needs his own bedroom. And there's certain spots that I have been eyeing and wanting to get into, but I haven't had a reason to because the place I'm at is so reasonable and the landlords are amazing. So I decided to put my efforts into manifesting a better, larger home for me and my two sons. And now, I can feel the motivation has started. I've put a bunch of applications in. I know that in the next couple of weeks, I'll hear back from one of them and I will manifest an even better home that suits my um, growing son's circumstances. So what I'm trying to say to you is when we have a circumstance come up in our 3D, we have an option. We can react to it like I did which is fine. I've told you guys before, you let the feelings ride out and then you change. You can revise your reaction. I didn't care to do that. It was like two minutes that I reacted. And then I shifted my focus. I'm like, this is an opportunity for me to have something I've wanted for a long time. And I've been focusing on my new beautiful um, townhouse that I will be getting and how beautiful it is and how warm and comfortable it is. It's about shifting the focus in times of what we look at as crisis. When something pops up in our 3D and it seems so real, we have an option where we can grieve it and then we can move forward and focus on our new outcome, live in the end. Or my other choice would have been to feel the feelings of victim, defeat, unfairness for the next two weeks. But what am I doing? shifting all my focus onto being a victim and circumstance is going to perpetuate that situation to repeat over and over again. So what do I mean by that? If I focus for the next two weeks on how unfortunate it is I have to move and how much it'll cost and all the things I have to do, it's going to make everything along the way to my new spot even harder. Something will happen. Things will come up in my way. I'll have more circumstances that just perpetuate my feeling of lack. I choose to feel abundant and I choose to know that something better is on the horizon and focus on that. And the same thing for SP. If you have, let's say you've been texting with them and they stop contacting you, you have a choice at that moment to be like, ah, you know what? This sucks. I wanted to be in contact with them every day, but this is just showing me that I had some old thoughts that needed to, um, that needed to come out and I just have to focus on constant contact. This is my husband or wife. They will be my husband and wife forever. So if right now I have a little glitch, who cares? With money, if you're manifesting money and a huge bill comes unexpectedly, you have a choice in that moment to be like, you know what, this sucks, it was unexpected, but because money always flows to me easily and effortlessly, I can, I can pay this bill and more money will show up for me. You can do this for every circumstance. I think the biggest thing that gets in all of our way is that we let circumstances overtake us and we live in those circumstances and we manifest more of those circumstances and wonder why manifesting is not working. It is working for the good or the bad. We just have to control where we focus. Do we focus on the unwanted circumstance or do we focus on the greatness that is gonna come out of this circumstance? It's up to us. So like I always say, Circumstances don't matter. Focus on what you want and you will always, 
always manifest it quickly and easily based on living in your circumstance and wondering why more unwanted circumstances are showing up. I just wanted to use my own personal example and I will update you guys because I expect that I will get the suite of my dreams within the next couple of weeks. I'm not even worried about it. And I've had situations like this before and other things have popped up. Like watch my landlord be like, oh, my dad doesn't need the suite anymore. Did you want to stay longer? When you're feeling good about life and you're feeling good about your circumstances, things just naturally roll out in your favor. I will update you guys. I just wanted to use an example. I love you, but not as much as y'all should be loving yourselves. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye.